In this day and age, we are surrounded with equipment and technologies that contains metal. However, do you know the challenges that factory operators face during the manufacturing or sorting of these materials manually? Some of the few challenges are metals could contain harmful properties that could affect the operator's health. Sharp metals might also damage their hands. Next is, most machines requires constant supervision, operators have to supervise the machine at all times and have to stand by in the vicinity of the machine to monitor and control the process. But what if I tell you? I have a solution to address these problems. Presenting to you. Industrial Materials Sorting and Distribution Station Using Siemens S7-1200 PLC and Somatic IoT 2000 controlled via desktop and Android dashboard. Hi everyone, my name is Asfar Haris bin Mohammed Faraid. And I will talk about my innovative project. That could address the problems that operators face in a factory. The goal of this project is to provide long-distance control and monitoring interfaces in desktop and smartphones for the materials sorting station by utilizing IoT. Next, our aim is to enhance the flexibility for the machine operator and increase productivity. This will also help in reducing unnecessary labor. The main components that are used for this project is Somatic IoT 2000 for the IoT features. Next, S7-1200 PLC is used as the controller for this machine. This project uses pneumatic cylinders as the moving mechanism for this machine, which requires an air compressor to work. Inductive sensor is used to detect the presence of metal, and optical sensors to detect objects in the machine. For the controls of this project, a laptop or computer is required to run the necessary program and also works as control and monitoring interface. An Android smartphone is also used as a control and monitoring interface. How to use the project? The first method to control is manually. First method is by controlling manually, push the start button on the machine. The pneumatic cylinder will start pushing materials that is detected by an optical sensor. Push the stop button on the machine to stop the process. When the metal sensor detects a presence, Another pneumatic cylinder will push out the materials and increase the metal counter by one. When the material passes the second optical sensor, the non-metal counter increase by one. The second method is controlled using laptop. Click the on button in the dashboard to start the machine. The indicator light will turn green on the laptop display and the machine, indicating that the machine is running. Click the off button in the laptop to stop the process. The red indicator light will turn on in the laptop display and on the machine, indicating that the machine is stopped. The third method is controlled using smartphone app. Turn on the MQTT dashboard app. Click the on button in the app to start the machine. The metal counter in the app increases when the metal is separated. Click the off button in the app to stop the process. The counter in the laptop display can be reset by clicking in the respective reset button. This can be done in the smartphone app too. For the marketing strategies. The four P's is covered which is the product, place, promotion, and price. This product solves operator issues regarding station control and monitoring in a factory. For the place. This product can be marketed in websites that are easily reachable by factory owners. For the promotion. By using social media and advertising to local factories, this product can reach its target audiences. For the price. With a price of RM10,000 for the setup. It is very cost-effective due to its limitless integration to new components and can be used for a long period of time. Our competitor is the Redwave XRF machine. 
This machine's purpose is to separate metal waste using X-ray fluorescence technology. But this machine does not allow remote control using laptop and Android smartphones like my project. If you are interested to know more about this project, don't be afraid to reach out to us through the contact information provided. Thank you for watching.